One night, Alma discovered an explosion at sea. A strange phenomenon suddenly occurred in his eyes. The next morning, the explosion on that ship killed more than 200 people. On that ship, there was an ancient statue that disappeared. Alma now went to school. At school, he was feared and shunned. In class, there was only one girl, Wakana, who was friendly with him. That afternoon, when he left, he saw a student being bullied but didn't care. He then went to the river to pick up rocks, and Wakana saw him. So the next day she went to Alma and invited him to join the club. When he refused, she invited him to go to the museum this afternoon. Her friends ran out to drag her away, and they didn't understand why she was trying to get close to Alma. They said that Alma had beaten other students before, but Wakana just considered it a rumor, and believed that Alma was actually very gentle. That afternoon, the roads leading to Alma's house were blocked. Snipers were positioned to target him. All of this was arranged by this one young lady. She then went to find Alma. Her name is Rory and her butler is Kagami. Both carry a demon called Oni Gowara. They came here to borrow power from Alma to destroy the demons known as Dark Stones. The demon caused the ship explosion last night. If we do nothing, the casualties will be huge. When Alma refused, Kagami read out all his information. Three years ago, he injured 18 students and was suspended from school for half a year. His father was missing, and his mother died in an accident, forcing him to live alone. He unleashed his power and was thrown away by Kagami. He wanted them to leave him alone and grew a horn on his head, where he decided to leave because she knew the negotiation had failed. Onigawara wanted her to stop bothering Alma or he would kill them all. Darkstone now appears on the street and petrifies everyone it sees. Wakana and her friends were still waiting for Alma, but her friend decided to go first while Wakana still believed Alma would come. Rory's soldiers took action and prepared to stop the demon. The demon suddenly rushed in one direction. Alma sensed the demon and remembered Wakana's words, so he knew she was about to be in danger. The demon is targeting the museum because there is a stone that contains the power to strengthen it. Rory sent soldiers to the museum to evacuate people. Kagami ordered his subordinates to buy the stone, but the museum did not accept. There was no other way, he had to fight the demon directly. Rory still believes that Alma will take action when he sees the demon harming people. Kagami now sits in the robot and confronts the demon. He shot a bunch of missiles at it but it didn't take any damage and rushed straight at him. The demon was about to petrify both the robot and Kagami when he was able to cut off its hand. It dropped its head while Kagami suffered a broken control unit. The demon turned to target Rory because of the stone she was carrying. This stone was stronger than the stone in the museum, so Kagami switched to the secondary controller and chased the demon. Alma saw Wakana waiting for him at the bus stop when the demon rushed here, injuring Wakana. Alma got really angry and unleashed his power. The demon aimed at Rory and attempted to swallow her, but Alma threw it aside. He transformed and rushed to fight the demon. His eyes continuously glowed and threw the demon far away from this area. He rushed after it and attacked while destroying the surrounding area. Kagami came and thought he was beyond help so he opened fire, but Rory stopped him. Just as Alma was about to attack her, he came to his senses and stopped. He said he had once again hurt others with this cursed power. He did not want this power, but Rory decided to awaken his true power. The demons had ate the stone in the museum. Rory uses the stone on her body to help Alma master his powers. He has a new armor, but now the demon head has transformed and has a complete body. It rushed to attack Alma, but he blocked its attack and threw it somewhere secluded. Oni Gawara said he had to destroy its core. Alma took out a weapon and rushed to punch the core. His weapon is a drill that pierces the core and destroys it. The remains of the demon were then taken away by Rory's men. But the remaining piece has escaped. Another demon turned that piece into a sword and flew away. The next morning, Alma comes to school again and wants the three bullies to go away to help this student get out of trouble. He then goes to Wakana's club and discovers that Ruri and Kagami are also there. Ruri bought the school and made Kagami the student council president. Ruri then remodeled the school. The food in the canteen is all top quality, but the prices are very cheap. She feels that making the students here satisfied and accepting change is okay, but the main thing is to just kill the demons. Alma now goes to Ruri's office and sees Oni Gawara here. Ruri and Kagami told him that Oni Gawara was a dark stone, but his main ability was to sense other demons so she made use of him. Kagami told him about the power from the stone he absorbed from Ruri yesterday. Seventeen years ago a meteorite fell to earth and brought with it seven strange crystals, called the Sacred Seven which had the ability to cause mutations in the human body. Alma also has powers from it, so his mother must have touched a sacred seven before. Onigawara was originally in a temple, but because he touched a sacred seven, 
He became like this. Those who touch the sacred seven and lose control are called demons. And whoever touches it and controls its power is called a warrior. Ruri wants to rely on Alma's power because demons are gradually multiplying. But Alma told her to go find the army. Ruri says that the army can't fight the demons, so Alma is the only hope. Alma remembered that Ruri used to wear a stone but she used it to save him, so he wanted to think for a while. Meanwhile a piece of the demon has escaped and is heading to a military base. The black armor also chased after it but didn't want humans to see him so he hid underground. This military base brought something onto the plane and on the way, the piece of the demon touched what they were carrying and caused a huge explosion in the sky. Meanwhile, Alma and the three girls were at the river collecting rocks. Wakana remembers that this is where she and Alma first met. But what Alma was looking for was not an ordinary stone but a purple stone of his that had been thrown into the river by thugs, causing him to become angry and explode with power. Then he saw the wind rising fiercely. These fierce winds all came from the sea, so Kagami and his staff went out there to take a look and saw that in this cloud there was a demon. A few days ago, a military plane disappeared carrying a missile warhead. It seems the demon absorbed that and became like this. Kagami took a photo and sent the information to Ruri. She could only put her hope in Alma. So Kagami then led Alma to Ruri's mansion. He was shocked when he saw this huge mansion. Kagami took him to meet Ruri's sister, who was imprisoned in a stone. It happened a few days after Ruri's parents were murdered by demons. The stone that Ruri gave him was a souvenir her mother left her. Ruri created this organization to destroy demons in order to one day free her sister from the stone. Ruri came and slapped Kagami because she didn't want to use her sister as a reason to get Alma to join. But Alma decided to help her. Alma is then led to the demon's cloud and forced to parachute to fight. He was scared because this was his first time skydiving and he didn't want to die. Oni Gowara called him a coward and told him to bring him along. He will help you parachute and fight in the air. The plane was attacked so it began to wobble, causing Oni Gowara to fall out of the plane. Alma also fell out of the plane and Ruri also got out of the plane without a parachute. Oni Gowara is swallowed by the demon while Ruri believes Alma will help her defeat this demon. Alma activated the armor and took out a hoverboard to fly in the sky. Oni Gowara inside the demon and discovered this demon's weakness. Alma now only knows how to dodge and doesn't know where to hit. Oni Gowara instructed him how to take out a gun and shoot at that spot, causing the demon to petrify and fall into the sea. Alma then took Ruri back to the plane and Kagami then asked Ruri not to do such reckless actions again. But Ruri believes Alma will protect her. While drinking tea, Kagami asked about Oni Gowara and then she remembered that he was still under the sea. Not long after, Ruri went to England to buy a stone. Oni Gowara saw that she was wasting a lot of money, but she was willing to trade everything to destroy all the dark stones in the world. Meanwhile, Kagami sent someone to escort a man named Kenmi. Suddenly, the black armor came and aimed at Kenmi. Although Kagami tried to stop him, his strength was not enough. Kenmi also has a stone in his hand and activates the armor for himself. The two fought while Alma was driving his motorbike here. Suddenly the black armor flew straight towards him. He began to show signs of breaking out and the black armor noticed that Alma was just like him. Kenmi rushed forward to continue attacking, but the black armor knocked him away and tied Kenmi up. The helicopter came and fired bullets, causing the black armor to hide. Alma has now transformed into an incomplete form because Ruri is not around to help him control. But he soon returned to normal on his own. Everyone returns to Ruri's mansion. Kenmi is a doctor. Two of his research institute escaped. The person who attacked them today was the red-haired boy named Kijima. Kijima is using the power from the stone to commit crimes. Kenmi had discussed and taught, but Kijima was too arrogant and refused to change. Now Kijima blames Kenmi for taking away his freedom. He asked Ruri for help. In return, he will ensure her and Alma's safety. Kenmi knew those two had taken the medicine to prevent themselves from losing control and becoming demons. They're running out of medicine, so they'll come find him to get more anyway. That would be the time for him to catch them. Kijima had now returned to his lair and was given a dose of medicine by the girl who escaped with him. They both only have one more dose left, so they will have to go get more. The girl named Lao Feizui wants to go with Kijima next time to beat Kenmi. But Kijima knows Kenmi is not easy to defeat and not to mention Kijima is also worried about Alma. Alma was now sitting and thinking about what Ruri had said about Kenmi's organization. She went to the riverbank to find him and he decided to follow her to see how Kenmi's organization was. In this place Kenmi is training those who have touched the Sacred Seven to use them beneficially. Kenmi knew for sure Kijima would come tonight and Alma wasn't sure they would be able to suppress him. Kenmi is the person who understands Kijima's power best. 
The petrification demon incident and the incident on the plane were both caused by Kijima. If Kijima completely lost control and lost his human reason, they would have absolutely no way to defeat him. So Kenny must catch him before that happens. He really wanted to join them in fighting, but he had to wait for his own armor to be repaired. So tonight he needed Alma and Ruri to be his bodyguards. Kagami is a security guard on the roof. Ruri then took the stone she had just bought and placed it in Onigawara's mouth. Kijima really has arrived. He came from afar and Onigawara quickly sensed him. Alma also began to have an outburst, so Ruri offered him the power from the stone. Kijima threw the rock demon out, so it attacked Kagami and the soldiers on the roof. Kijima took this opportunity to infiltrate the base. He entered the place where the medicine was stored, but this place had set up a high temperature fire trap that was released and burned him in the medicine. He felt hot, so he hid in the water and was electrocuted. He escaped to another room and a girl named Erukun was waiting for him here and transformed. He didn't want to waste time so he ran away when Erukun shot out a net. But Kijima passes through the net and escapes. He then called the demons back and then rushed upward with them to find Kenmi. He was stopped by Alma, and Alma wanted him to surrender peacefully but Kijima pulled him down and handcuffed him to the floor. But Alma also used the same strength as him and followed him. Kijima believes that people with this power deserve freedom, not becoming tools for humans. Erikun came to fight Kijima with Alma. Kijima was kicked away by her but quickly used his ability to penetrate objects to escape. Alma still clings to Kijima. Kijima called the demons to wreak havoc and escaped. Although Kijima couldn't get the medicine, he had a new goal. The weekend came and Alma felt like he could stay home and rest today. But after sleeping for a while, he realized that today he had to go prepare for the school festival. Ruri was now standing and looking at the other students preparing for the festival. This was the first festival she had since becoming school president. She was so excited that she drank countless bottles of water. Kagami saw that his mistress was happy and wanted to do something. But before he could do anything, two girls from the newspaper club walked in. Uri called them over to ask them to record a speech for her. Suddenly Onigawara screamed, causing Kagami to carry him out. Kagami asked the reason and Onigawara said that a demon had just appeared nearby. Alma remains clueless and helps others prepare for the festival. Kagami and Onigawara chased the demon away because it was quite small, so Onigawara could handle it. But another one invaded and wherever it went, it turned to stone. Alma brought the decorations and helped Wakana hang them up. Wakana finds it beneficial for him to be too tall, but Alma finds it sometimes annoying to be too tall. Ruri arrived, and Wakana thanked Ruri for lending the projector so she could give her presentation. Alma discovered the demon passing by and Kagami and Onigawara soon encountered signs of the demon and met Alma again. The three went into the classroom and Kagami wanted to deal with the demon with Alma without letting Ruri know because he was worried that she would cancel the festival for safety's sake. Kagami can handle the demon alone, and it's Alma's job to keep Ruri away from the demon. Alma also wants to use his power to quickly kill the demon, but to transform, he needs Ruri's help. Onigawara showed him how to act in front of Ruri so she could help him transform. Alma called Ruri and asked her to come to the rooftop to chat. Ruri suddenly became shy and blushed, making Alma sweat. Meanwhile, Kagami gets in the car and calls the staff to tell them to scan the school and search for the demon, and tells them to bring in the weapons without Ruri finding out. Alma now met Ruri and both were shy, not knowing what to say. Alma expressed that he wanted to become more proficient in using his power and asked for her help. Ruri found it okay to help him become proficient with his powers, it would help him protect people better. He then returned to the meeting room with Ruri and she took out some small stones to help him transform. Even though they were small, these stones were worth millions of yen, shocking Alma. Alma had just transformed when Wakana entered. Alma hesitated, not knowing how to explain, but Wakana thought he was cosplaying with this outfit. Wakana asks Alma to help her promote her speech. Kagami now had a weapon and set out to find the demon. But on the way he met Alma, so he followed him. Suddenly, the demon crept across the school, making it look like two people in costumes were chasing each other. The demon ran outside and split into two, forcing Alma to follow one of them. Wakana's two female friends called Kagami to the gate because they thought he was playing cosplay. Kagami lied to trick them and continued chasing the demon. But the two girls still followed Kagami. The demon that Alma was chasing wriggled through the iron pillars, causing the large sign to fall. Alma was forced to run to catch her and a student fell. Alma told the young man to try to hold on tightly to the iron bar. Kagami finished destroying the demon and went to find Alma. Alma is now forced to choose between saving the young man or revealing his powers. He hesitated, so the young man fell. He immediately caught him, but the sign is falling. 
Luckily, Kagami used a hook to pull the side out in time. People now feel differently about Alma. Alma and Kagami continue to chase the demon. The demon got into the fireworks barrel and entered one of them. Alma rushed to grab it and was about to use his weapon to finish it off when the armor's duration ran out. Kagami tells Alma to throw it over here. He punched it a few times and then threw it into the sky when he saw it was about to explode. The demon explodes into fireworks and Kagami's staff shouts cut to trick everyone into thinking they are filming. They then had to tell Rui the truth. She agreed to let it go, but she wanted them not to do that again in the future. So the day of the festival arrived. Many people came to participate and Wakana's presentation ended up only reaching the top two due to losing to the literature club. But anyway, that day was very fun. Not long after, Wakana's rock collecting club was invited by Rui to go camping for a day. The girls were chatting excitedly while Alma sat thinking about something and blushing. Rory said that she was happy to go with him today. While going up the mountain, Wakana said that there was a temple worshipping the stone god nearby, and the believers built this mountain like a pyramid to worship the stone god. Everyone laughed because it sounded quite ridiculous. Alma looked at the mountain that looked like a real pyramid and suddenly felt something but still ignored it and continued on. While the girls went to the beach to play, Wakana went to pick up rocks from the stream. Kagami was cooking food when he saw Alma running away somewhere. Alma brings Onigawara and tells Kagami that he senses a demon nearby. Because every time he looked at the mountain, it gave him chills. Onigawara says the demon in the mountain this time is an ancient form. He also didn't know what form it was. Suddenly, Wakana returns and informs the group about the mountain entrance she found. The girls want to go inside and explore, but Alma senses the demon inside. Kagami then stops Wakana and wants them to go home have a barbecue, and go exploring later. After the girls returned, Kagami prepared his weapons to enter the cave. He is equipped with a special cannon that has great power, but can only fire a single shot. Kagami does not trust Ruri to Alma but has no other choice. He is forced to leave Ruri with him. Kagami then entered the pyramid with Onigawara and began scanning the passage to make sure he didn't get lost. Onigawara will be the sensor to help him know when he will encounter the demon. Looking at the architecture, both knew that this place was built, not naturally occurring. Onigawara was joking around but suddenly got serious because the demons had arrived. The girls wondered where Kagami was, but Alma said that he had an emergency, so he left first. Kagami has now destroyed all the little demons. Onigawara said there was one left lying in the middle of the mountain, and not moving at all. Suddenly, Onigawara's expression changed, and the mountain began to shake violently. Uri knew something had happened, so she ran away, forcing Alma to follow her. Then the two fell into a giant hole. Onigawara didn't know why the demon suddenly woke up. When Kagami heard that Ruri and Alma had fallen into the hole, he became even more panicked. The support team lost contact because Kagami went too deep inside the pyramid. Onigawara can find Ruri. But getting there is quite troublesome because the demons inside have awakened all at once. Alma woke up and went to look for Ruri when suddenly he stepped on something. They simultaneously glowed and turned into demons. The three girls were evacuated from the dangerous place. The support team noticed that there was a magnetic field in the pyramid that prevented them from contacting Kagami and finding Ruri's location. Kagami now followed the path Onigawara pointed out and found Ruri. He gets out of the robot to wake up Ruri and learns that Alma is missing. Suddenly, the room shook and Onigawara fell off the robot. Kagami and Ruri were locked up. The two discovered a demon inside, so Kagami fought to protect Ruri. The room gradually became smaller, and Kagami continuously fought with little demons. Alma is trying to find and deal with some little demons. Ruri now wants Kagami to fire the cannon, but he is afraid of hurting even Ruri. Alma then reaches the demon's egg warehouse, and it happens to be below the room where Kagami and Ruri are locked up. Onigawara falls and shows that both sides are separated by a wall. Kagami decides to blow a hole in the ceiling so that Ruri can help Alma activate his powers. The demon began to bite the robot, forcing Kagami to act quickly. Kagami also took the stone he himself brought with him so that Ruri could activate Alma's power. He successfully received the power, but now he was forced to attack from below, and could not break through the ceiling to get up. He used a powerful move that penetrated straight up and had to be skillfully adjusted to avoid hitting Kagami and Ruri. He successfully stabbed a piercing blow to the top of the mountain and destroyed the demon as well as ensuring the safety of the two of them. The next day, when everyone was on their way back home, Kagami was disappointed in Alma because he put Ruri in danger. Kagami decided that when he returned, he would train him. Not long after that, Kenny had to leave to deal with an out-of-control demon. The demon continuously emitted extremely high heat 
but Kenmi still decided to fight it hand to hand and successfully defeated it. He then returned to base with his arms severely burned and knew he would have to go find more powerful stones. Hijima is now experiencing drug withdrawal, curls up looking like an addict, and remembers the time he was locked in a cage. Every day, he was tied up tightly and taken to the experimental table to be injected with an inhibitor drug. He jumped up and ran to get injections to prevent him from losing control. He saw Lao Fei Zui trying to use her own blood to make serum for him. But this serum is not strong enough, and if it continues, the girl will be in danger. Kijima decides to find a stronger source of serum from Rory. That day, Alma was studying when he received a paper dart from Rory. Rory asked him if he wanted to have lunch with her, making him blush. He asked the teacher to go to the toilet, but he escaped to the rooftop to sleep. At noon, Rory came and gave him lunch. But he was still shy, so he told her to sit a little further away. She kept coming closer to him, making him say she was annoying. Hearing this, Rory angrily left. Seeing that he didn't hold back, she turned around and reminded him again before leaving. That afternoon at the club, everyone was polishing the stones when two of Wakana's female friends kept bothering Kagami, giving him a headache. Rory kept thinking about whether she was really annoying or not. Kagami called Rory to a meeting, so they both had to go home first. On the way back, Rory was still thinking about what Alma had said. Suddenly, Kagami almost hit a girl, so he went out to ask her. It turned out that this was Kijima and Lao Fei Zui's plan to kidnap Rory. When Kagami got back into the car, he discovered that Rory was gone and the Oni Gawara was broken. He called the support team to locate Rory, but they had no signal because Rory had been put on the boat and gone by Kijima. When Kenmi heard that Rory was kidnapped, he immediately took action and sent Erukun into battle because his armor had not yet been repaired. Kagami comes to find Alma and tells him the situation. He will go find Ruri and call Alma when needed because now Alma cannot transform without Ruri. Alma went home and tried to mend the Onigawara with tape. Onigawara suddenly woke up and didn't know what happened. He feels that power again and tells Alma that Kijima has kidnapped Ruri and he is coming here. Before Kijima could arrive, he was intercepted by Kenmi's subordinate. Alma ran out and encountered Kenmi and Kagami. Kagami heard that Kijima had kidnapped Ruri and remembered that the girl he almost hit was the one who ran away with Kijima. Arakun is now showing her superiority over Kijima. Kijima had knocked her gun away, but she was ready to fight with her bare hands. She soon pushed him away and got her gun back. But it was her disdain that gave Kijima the opportunity to injure her and escape. Knowing that Kijima had escaped, Kenmi was not worried because Arakun had implanted a tracking device into Kijima during the fight. Kagami quickly set out to chase after Kijima. Kenmi tells Alma to come to his place to get the power control medicine if needed. Kenmi then had to return to base to treat Erukun while Kagami followed the signal he provided to find Ruri. Kagami did not let Alma follow him because he was afraid that Alma would lose control. But he still decided to ride his motorbike and follow Kagami. Oni Gawara knew he cared about Ruri because if anything happened to her, he would be in big trouble. Kagami and Alma were following the signal when the signal suddenly disappeared. The place that disappeared was a military bunker. But just a few minutes later the signal appeared again. Kagami suspects there's a problem here, so he tells Alma to give him Oni Gawara. Knowing Alma wants to help, Kagami lets Alma investigate the place while he follows Kijima. He gave him the stones as a precaution. If he meets Ruri, give them to her to activate his power. Meanwhile, Ruri was having her blood drawn, she asked to go to the toilet. Lao Fei Zui thought for a moment and agreed, but Ruri immediately protested and asked where this was. But only Kijima can enter this place, and the reason the two ran away from Kenmi's place is because it is freer, and less scary than the human society out there. Lao Fei Zui said her brother was killed by Kenmi. She and Kijima never lie because they both don't want to be evil like humans. Meanwhile, Kenmi heard that a suspicious location had been found and set out. Kagami now followed the location where the signal stopped and discovered that the tracking device had been hung to a car. And the place Alma entered was actually Kijima's lair. But Alma was in so deep that the support team couldn't contact him. He encountered Kijima. He decided to tell him the truth and told him to follow him. He took him to see Ruri and was worried because Lao Fei Zui didn't feel well. Now it's impossible to take her to the hospital because no one is willing to treat them. He decided to let them both know the truth that they were being used by Kenmi. It is also true that Lao Fei Zui's brother was murdered. Kenmi is experimenting on people with powers from the stones. He captured them, took away their freedom, and then used the title of scientist to torture them. Therefore, Kijima and Lao Fei Zui escaped, and if they were caught again, they would both die. 
That is the truth that both must accept, and if they understand, it is best not to get in his way anymore. Kijima plans to kill Kenmi to gain freedom, and Alma is determined not to let Kijima do it. But Kijima asked Alma what purpose Alma was fighting for. Alma was speechless when suddenly the place was attacked by something. The whole cave collapsed and Ruri rushed to save Lao Fei Zui. When they looked back, they were both being saved by Alma. Kijima now discovers that what attacked this place is the out-of-control demon that Kenmi chased last time. Kenmi also arrived shortly after to find Ruri and Alma. Alma begins to show signs of losing control, and Kijima transforms to fight. Kijima kept pushing the demon away to fight, but this demon completely lost control and was stronger than Kijima. Kijima knew who was inside this out-of-control demon. He was dodging when suddenly Kenmi rushed to attack. Kenmi grabbed Kijima's neck and said something, then let the demon send Kijima flying. Lao Fei Zui rushed out to help Kijima, causing Alma to take more pressure from the rock and drop the stones. The demon rushed forward, but it did not attack Lao Fei Zui. Lao Fei Zui recognized the demon as her brother. Kenmi rushed to attack, forcing Kijima to redirect the attack towards the out-of-control demon. Kijima then escaped to take Lao Fei Zui away, while the demon turned to attack Kenmi. Alma wants to get Ruri out of here. Ruri reached for a nearby stone and gave him the power. Alma escapes from the rock and fights the demon with Kenmi. He was about to say something, but he fought with him first. Kenmi believes that this demon has lost its humanity, so he wants Alma to kill him. But Alma did not use a weapon but only fought with her bare hands, causing the demon to escape. Alma then asked Kenmi about what Kijima said. Kenmi said he experimented to help them, not to harm them. Having finished speaking, he left. Alma now doesn't know who to trust while Ruri wants to think for a while. Upon returning to the base, Kenmi recaptured the escaped demon. But the fact that the demon still has some humanity is unpredictable. He sees that Alma and Ruri have begun to doubt him, so he will find a way to separate both of them. Lao Fei Zui was now crying because her brother was still alive but was no different from a monster. Kijima is determined to protect her to the end. A few days later, Ruri asked Kagami to investigate further about Kenmi's research area. She decided to make a contract to meet Alma. Ruri got straight to the point. She wanted to make a contract so he could have a reason to fight because, up until now, he had only fought for free. But Alma flatly refused and asked permission to go out for some fresh air. Oni Gowara had predicted this, and he knew he had to be a matchmaker for these two. As soon as he had an idea, he was split in two, forcing Ruri to call Alma back. After Alma fixed him with duct tape, he said he only had three days to live and needed them to find a stone to cure him. He needs the love stone, and to get it, the two must hold hands. Both were shy when they heard that. The next day, the two went to the train station to start looking for stones to cure Oni Gowara. Alma saw the extremely clumsy Ruri for the first time. From how she bought the train ticket to how she forgot to scan the ticket, she then stood waiting for the train with Alma, and Alma kept blushing and turned away. But Ruri didn't know and thought she was really annoying and obnoxious. Meanwhile, Kagami went to meet an acquaintance to investigate Kenmi. This person advised Kagami to stay away from Kenmi because if he investigated further, he would be eliminated. As soon as he finished speaking, someone followed Kagami from behind. Meanwhile, Ruri and Alma went to the place where Oni Gawara was carved. The two then arrived and asked for a piece of Oni Gawara's stone. The two held hands while receiving the stone and then let go very quickly. Ruri then called Oni Gawara and told him the stone looked normal. Oni Gawara told the two to hold hands until the stone glowed. Alma wants to go eat something first and then move on. The two went to a noodle shop, and Ruri ordered a bowl like Alma. She still saw that he seemed angry, so she asked directly if he was still angry about yesterday's contract or something. He probably hates going with her too. When he heard her say it all, he realized he had made her misunderstand. Actually, he fought not because she forced him to, but because he also wanted to protect everyone. He understood that what he said went against his heart and hurt her, but he would change the way he said it. Both then paid and continued working. The two were then able to comfortably hold hands and walk together. While walking with Alma, Ruri realized that Alma had lived in this place before because many old people still recognized him. Alma said he himself lived here before his father disappeared. He used to have friends here and have fun with them. Until one day, his friend was bullied. He took off the stone around his neck and unleashed his power, making his friends fear him. From there, he and his mother moved away, and he hasn't been able to make any more friends since then. The two then decided to leave and visit the beach, where he said he had met Alma before, but he didn't remember. He wondered why the beach was still crowded at this hour. A local said that this beach once had an accident, 
but has now reopened, causing many people to still play very late. The two then went to the beach to play for a while and Ruri accidentally stepped on a seashell, so Alma took her to shore. The two also took out fireworks, and Alma decided he would change from now on because he had found a goal and someone for him to protect. When they got home, the two discovered that Oni Gawara had been repaired. The quest to find the stone was just a joke so the two of them could hang out together. Kenmi now knew that Ruri was suspicious of him, so he also had to prepare a strategy to deal with it. In the following days, Alma continuously trained with Kagami to the point of exhaustion. Alma didn't know if he could keep up with this practice schedule. While in their class, Alma remembered that she hadn't done his homework due to training with Kagami. Rory took the homework she did and gave it to him, but it was discovered by the teacher. The teacher believes that it is not wrong for both of them to love each other, but they should not cheat like this. Wakana's two friends then talked about how Alma had changed since the beginning of the year until now. At this moment, the support team heard that a demon had appeared and quickly called Kagami. But there is not just one demon, but two. Alma then submitted the exam, and the teacher was surprised because he improved quite quickly and had friends to help. He then met Wakana, and he went with her. Everyone has become more open to him. He doesn't know if he is the one who has changed or if everyone has changed their view of him. He suddenly meets Rory again, and she says there's an emergency. He gets on the plane and is taken to a demon while Kagami takes care of another demon. Alma quickly jumped down and encountered the demon. It didn't move at all, so he was about to attack first when suddenly it moved at the speed of sound and gave Alma a beating. Meanwhile, Kagami confronted the second demon. This one was bigger than the other, and when it saw it was being attacked, it immediately tore off one of the robot's arms, forcing Kagami to retreat. The demon suddenly dropped the maid's helicopter and began to accelerate away. Alma was forced to follow it. Kagami took out the laser cannon and fired it. Then the demon opened its mouth to swallow and shoot back. A car that the maids had prepared nearby was caught by it and put into its mouth. Uri finished recharging the gun and shot a bullet that punctured its body. But she missed its core, making it angry. Alma, after following the demon for a while, was thrown to the ground and repeatedly kicked in the head. Even so, he still tried to fight. This causes him to unleash his power and free himself from the ground. He tied the demon with a scarf, threw it up, and cut its core in half. He then headed towards the other one and sped up. The power gives him new legs that help him accelerate and jump farther. Uri was now in front of the demon. It raised its paw to eat her when Alma rushed in to finish it off. They thought it was over when suddenly the two lamps above the heads of the bodies of the two demons suddenly flew up. They merged together and flew straight into the city. Alma then rushed after them because the armor had not disappeared. His body was exhausted, but his will remained. He used his power and turned himself into an arrow aimed straight at the demon. It tried to shoot sparks of fire to repel him, but in the end, Alma still won. A few sparks from Alma hit the spot where Rory's sister was. The next morning, Alma arrived at school quite early. He put the stone he always carried in the display case, and Wakana believed that the stone would now be with his friends and it would be the same as Alma. A few days later, Rory heard that her sister had changed strangely. On that day, Alma was in class and did not see the two of them come to school. Suddenly, Ruri came to school and took him to her house. She told Alma that her sister had suddenly escaped the crystal lair, but had not regained consciousness. There was nothing in the brain waves, and it was like being clinically dead. The reason her sister became like this was because of the power he radiated last time, so she asked him if he felt strange anywhere but he was still completely normal, making her just cry out of helplessness. She then apologized to Alma for suddenly calling him here and cried, but he wanted to hear what happened to her family that day. Five years ago, Ruri and her family were preparing for Christmas. Kagami and his father helped the whole family with the preparations. Kenmi shows up at their house for work reasons. The two sisters and Kagami went up to their room to make decorations themselves. Ruri's parents have decided to stop sponsoring Kenmi, even though what he is doing can help Ruri control her power. But Ruri's father still thinks what he did was inhumane and that was heard by Ruri's older sister. The way to distinguish these two twins is just by looking at their hair ties. The blue hair tie is Ruri's older sister, the red one is Ruri. The next morning, her sister called Ruri down with her parents to go back to the villa. Suddenly, as soon as her sister picked up the decorative bracelet that Ruri had worked hard to make, it was suddenly torn and completely damaged. Even though she got it back, the angel effigy was broken, and Ruri refused to let her sister fix it and kept struggling to keep it. She was angry with her sister and locked herself in her room. Ruri's family and Kagami's father decided to return to the villa first, while Kagami was assigned by his father to stay here for a while, 
and take Ruri back when she was no longer angry. Kagami then went inside and sat with Ruri. Ruri's family has returned to the villa and started decorating for Christmas. The guard then took out a bottle of wine to make a meal in time for Christmas. Suddenly, the police dog barked fiercely, and they were immediately attacked by the fire demon. Ruri was crying right now because she had said too much to her sister, and her sister felt guilty for ruining her sister's things. Kagami's father out there noticed the demon, so he rushed to fight, but its power surpassed even his guns and weapons so he was helpless. Uri has now finished fixing it and is ready to leave with Kagami. The servant in the house had just finished preparing the food when the demon suddenly rushed in. Kagami was still on the way home with Ruri. Ruri's father was then found by the demon. He knew it was sent by Kenmi, and then he was immediately burned. Ruri's mother and sister tried to run away, but were also caught and murdered by the demon. Her sister, in a moment of danger, unleashed her power and locked herself in crystal. When the demon went out, he encountered Kagami's father. He decided to use a bomb to die with the demon. When Kagami returned, he found that the entire mansion had burned down and his father was dying. He told Kagami what happened and assigned him to protect Ruri. To this day, Ruri still does not know what is wrong with her sister and how to free her. According to Kenmi, this is because her sister used her strength to protect herself, so it seems she cannot be freed by external factors. Ruri always fights because she thinks her sister is afraid of demons and has locked herself in crystal, so she will destroy all the demons so that her sister is no longer threatened and can wake up. The fact that the crystal was broken while they were fighting somehow reinforced her confidence that she wanted to continue borrowing strength from Alma, and Alma also decided to help her. When leaving, Alma met Kijima again. Kijima still believes that Alma and Ruri are being used by Kenmi. Alma wants to work with Kijima to protect others, but Kijima believes that although they both have the same power, their goals are different. He will still find a way to take Kenmi's life at any cost. The next day, Ruri's family corporation was arrested for tax evasion. The police arrived at her door. Ruri knew this was a trap, but even if the paperwork was wrong, it was done so delicately that she couldn't defend it. Her bank account was frozen, and she wanted to try to keep some of it to maintain the organization. But the police rushed in to take her away on charges of embezzlement. The school was then closed. The press came to the school gate, and only Alma's group was there. The group spoke out against the press to protect Ruri, but Alma knew he had to do something and couldn't sit still like this. He then escaped with three girls from the school through a secret way. Just outside, the group met Kagami again. They then leave together, and Wakana wants Alma to bring Ruri back and tell Ruri that they all believe she is innocent. Kagami said her sister Ruri was still in the house, but they couldn't reach her. Ruri and the maids were all taken away. Kagami knew they would both have to act on their own, but suddenly Kenmi's men came to suppress both of them. Ruri also woke up and found herself lying on the table, preparing for Kenmi's surgery. Alma and Kagami had just been captured when Oni Gawara fell on the man's face. The maids also immediately came and took care of all of Kenmi's soldiers. They all had to hide from the police to get here. Kagami didn't understand why they were fired but still helped Ruri. They all thought that this was a voluntary job to help the organization continue to operate. Suddenly Lao Feizui came to Alma. She said Kijima had set out to kill Kenmi and wanted to go with Alma. Kenmi now said he would take Ruri's heart. Since the time of the Aztecs, people have had knowledge of this power. Warriors with this power will have their hearts taken away, and the heart is also the core of power. They divided it among those who craved this power. As long as Kenmi has Ruri's heart, he is confident that he will have power equal to that of God. The threat to her life caused Ruri's power to explode. Alma felt Ruri's power. And Lao Feizui said Kenmi had long been plotting to overthrow the Ruri family to monopolize the power from the stones. Kagami found it advantageous for Kijima to have acted first because he could cause confusion among the enemy. Kagami and the maids will help Alma save Ruri. Lao Feizui will help Alma lead the way. And even though she knows it's dangerous, she still wants to try to save her brother. Kenmi now decided to use strong measures because Ruri had locked herself in crystal. He will use every means to break the crystal layer, even if Ruri's body is damaged. He doesn't care because her core will not be easily destroyed. Suddenly, he discovered that Kijima had broken into the place and also discovered Ruri's car nearby. He foresaw and ordered Erukun to go into battle. Not only that, he also released Lao Feizui's brother. Kagami and the maids encountered Erukun while Alma and Lao Feizui took a secret route to infiltrate inside. Suddenly, Alma's power reacted. He was attacked by Lao Feizui's brother and thrown inside. Lao Feizui wanted to do something to help her brother and Alma when she discovered something glowing. Alma realized that the stone he had been looking for for so long was here while Kijima saved Lao Feizui from the demon. 
Lao Fei Zui wanted to save her brother, but Kijima believed that her brother had lost his reason and would rather free him than let him continue to be used. But Lao Fei Zui is confident that she created the serum to save her brother. Kijima had to listen to her wishes and give her a chance to save her brother. Kagami was struggling at this time because the armor was too bulky to fight against someone as flexible as Erekun. Erekun kicked Kagami flying, causing Oni Gawara to fall. Alma now went alone and found Ruri's place. Kenny was waiting here, but he let Alma do whatever he wanted. Alma approached and his stone reacted to Ruri. Ruri is now about to completely turn into crystal, forcing him to take the stone to get closer to her. He smashed the stone into the crystal, and then old memories appeared that this stone was given to Alma's mother by Ruri's mother to help him control his power. It was also on that day that Alma saved Ruri when she was almost hit by a falling iron bar. He couldn't believe he could forget that day, but nonetheless, he saved Ruri. Kenmi was surprised because the connection between the two was stronger than he thought while Kijima controlled the demon so that Lao Fei Zui could inject the serum. Kenmi said he knew of Alma's power, so three years ago, he arranged for him to be attacked and lose the stone that was restraining his power. But Alma had restrained himself with his will, so everything that Alma had ever encountered was caused by Kenny to force Alma to use this power. Suddenly, Lao Fei Zui's brother came and destroyed the place. He killed Kenny's assistant because he was one of the people who abused his sister. But because he was caught off guard, Lao Fei Zui's brother was finished off by Kenny and took the stone. Lao Fei Zui watched her brother die, making her very sad while Kenny got what he wanted. The heart of the person carries the power from the stone he absorbed and becomes an entity that he claims has reached the realm of God. But what he wants is still Alma, because his strength far exceeds that of regular stone demons. Alma has absorbed the power from Ruri so he is said to be in his complete form. Kijima decided to drag Kenmi to hell, but Kenmi suddenly captured Lao Fei Zui and took her away, forcing Kijima to chase. Alma asked Ruri to help him transform. He changed the armor to red, and when they both transformed, Ruri's sister also woke up. Even though Kagami saw that everything had stabilized, he still couldn't help everyone because his opponent was still too difficult to deal with. Kijima cannot attack Kenmi at this time because Kenmi continuously uses Lao Fei Zui as a shield. Kenny saw that Kijima was too weak, but Lao Fei Zui knew that she was always Kijima's burden, so she wanted Kenny to take her own life so that Kijima could fight freely. Kenny decided to give her satisfaction, but before Kenny could take Lao Fei Zui's life, his hand was cut off by Alma. But Kenny quickly grabbed Kijima and began to absorb Kijima's power to recover. Oni Gawara at this time met Ruri's older sister, and the two showed Ruri and the maids the exit. Kijima now falls down, having lost his wings. Seeing Kijima seriously injured caused Lao Fei Zui to be so shocked that she transformed into a demon form. Kagami now escapes and follows Oni Gawara's arrow. Kenmi has now truly turned into a demon. His face has become a monster, and he wants to eat Alma at all costs. Alma sent Kenmi flying to a nearby mountain to fight. Lao Fei Zui also came here to shoot at Kenmi. Kagami followed Oni Gawara's instructions and went to pick up Ruri's sister. Kijima now woke up and could not transform, so he told Lao Fei Zui to stop fighting. Because the bullets she fired were absorbed by Kenmi, he transformed into a stronger form. Alma still has a way. He accelerates and runs many times around the mountain. He then changed his weapon to a drill and rushed straight at Kenmi. Kenmi was blown back to base, and the armor was also gone. He saw that his body was about to disappear, so he hugged Lao Fei Zui and jumped down. He took out the core to put it into Lao Fei Zui's body and made her go crazy like him. Before he died and he believed Lao Fei Zui would plunge the world into darkness. Lao Fei Zui then transformed into a pyramid-shaped crystal and flew up. Alma froze the surroundings so the water wouldn't drown everyone inside and tried to tell Lao Fei Zui to stop. But the girl thought that she was the cause of suffering for everyone around her, so she wanted to die. Lao Fei Zui's deadly power continuously wreaks havoc. Ruri and her sister know that only Kijima and Alma can stop Lao Fei Zui. Ruri's older sister lent her power to Kijima, and Kijima now had white armor to fight in. Kijima flew up to fight alongside Alma. He asked Alma to help him get to Lao Fei Zui's place. Alma used his power to encase the crystal and used counterforce to keep it from falling. Kijima somehow got inside and took out the evil core in Lao Fei Zui's body and crushed it to free her. Everything then returned to normal and Ruri went before the media to regain her company's reputation. Her organization was also re-established and continued to operate. Alma decided to throw away the remaining piece of the stone to officially no longer restrain himself. Ruri's sister also joined the club and joined everyone on a yacht to travel abroad.